Darcy Lynn just won America's Got Talent. How will she spend the million dollar prize? Plus, Shania Twain on that hilarious Broad City cameo. Hey friends, this is The Daily Denny. You knew it, I knew it, but last night, 15 million people watched 12-year-old singing ventriloquist Darcy Lynn Farmer be named the winner of America's Got Talent. Now, the confetti has settled, and as you can imagine, it has been a whirlwind couple of hours for the Oklahoma native, but I caught up with Darcy Lynn just this morning, and let me tell you, our girl is tired. I did not get any sleep last night. Of course not. <laughs> I mean, what a night it's been. Now that, has it sunk in yet that you won AGT? No. It hasn't? No. Oscar, how are you feeling now that Darcy has won the whole dang thing? I'm feeling great because I'm gonna try to um, um, get the money. <laughs> Crying! Stop it! Stop crying! You're standing up there. Uh, uh, Tyra Banks is about to announce you as the winner. What was going on in your head? I was so like stressed out. It's the <laughs> longest. 30 seconds of my life. <laughs> I was gonna say, Tyra Banks really stretched that out, didn't she? Yes, Was it lot. agonizing? Like, what, what yes, were you feeling? Yes, I was like, just spit it out, tie tie. <laughs> uh, now, a million dollars for a 12 year old, that's a lot of money, so I have to ask you, <laughs> have you thought about how you wanna spend it? Yes, I am, well, first things first, I am definitely going to give some to my church, because they always raise money for different missions and mission programs and um, into different countries. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to do that. And then second, I have to get my mom a dishwasher because, or a fridge along with it, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> because we definitely need more household appliances. And so you can get out of doing chores, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And a pug. Mm. I want a pug really bad. You want a puppy? You want a pug, huh? Mm -hmm. We can make, I'm, I'm sure that's coming your way. I, 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 we'll, Hopefully. We'll have to find out. Mom, come on in here. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I get a pug, Mom? I am not saying yes on a, on a live. <laughs> <laughs> but you, how about that dishwasher, huh, Mom? I will yeah. take the dishwasher. How, how about that dishwasher? <laughs> Otherwise, um, she's going to be doing a lot of hand washing. <laughs> that's right. Maybe Oscar can help with the dishes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me remind you, Darcy is 12 years old and she goes back to school on Monday. She told me it's gonna be crazy. We have more from my interview with Darcy Lynn last night, just moments after she won. That's up now on etonline.com. All right, the AGT finale was also filled with some really fun performances and a highlight for me was Shania Twain's duet with Mandy Harvey. But the Canadian queen of country music bops is busy because next week she drops her first album in 15 years. Last night she also made a hilarious guest spot on Broad City and let me give you a little backstory. Since season one, Abby has lied about training Shania Twain and as fate would have it, it finally happened. Nice grip, Shania. You're getting strong. That forearm's good. Shania Twain. You just guest starred on Broad City. What was it like now that Abby Jacobson has finally trained Shania Twain? <laughs> I think that's so awesome. I loved her, I loved the show, I loved the whole environment there, and uh, I'm just glad that she's finally off the hook right. and she doesn't have to keep this writing lie going anymore. <laughs> when there's a spark, you gotta ride it. Oh, when you're in love, don't hide it. Oh! I'm good. Not only are you good, Shania, you're still the one. I'm sorry I had to, I'm gonna do that. All right, speaking of her album, you guys, she says she was way more nervous making the record and she's relieved and can't wait to share it. Her album now is available September 29th. All right, moving on to another big finale last night. The winner of Big Brother season 19 was chosen and the winner of the $500,000 prize belongs to Mr. Josh Martinez. Our very own Bryce Sander was with the reality star just after his surprising win. Congratulations, Josh. You are the winner. Has it sunk in yet? No shot, not at all. I don't even think I won, it's like crazy. Were you shocked at how close the jury vote was? I was completely shocked. Which jury vote surprised you the most? Cody. Cody. I'm like, what? Cody said that his deciding factor was the fact that you were up front wow. and said to him, I don't like you. 
Yeah, wow, that's huge. That's awesome. All right, big money coming. Have you thought about the first thing you're going to do with that money? I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, an accountant, uh, an accountant, an accountant, like I have no idea, but I do want to, I know that me, Paul, and Chris, as we plan to world tour, I'm going to stick to my word. We're going to travel the world together um, but and give back to my parents. You know, my parents, they don't want anything. They're like, go start your life, but I want to give back to them. Oh, guys, I'm bummed because now that AGT and Big Brother are over, that means summer's gone. Thankfully, we do have fall TV season to look forward to and also fall music. And tomorrow we'll have a preview of the albums and tours we are excited to close the year out with. And until then, be sure to like, comment, and share. And in case I don't thank you guys enough for watching, thank you. All right, I'm going to go sleep.